Today's October 27th, 2016, and it's IEX1K Day up in NYC. A lot of acronyms there, John. Cool. Yeah, well, they can do it from anywhere. Uh, IEX is a new exchange. It was highlighted in the book Flash Boys. Uh, Brad Katsuyama, Ronan, and John Schwal were all working on uh, basically a, a fair marketplace. It became an actual stock exchange. And uh, the reason it was part of Flash Boys is that, you know, a lot of what high frequency firms do, I'm not demonizing them, but I'm saying they can see information before anything else because it's being viewed by a computer that can see it in the faster than a blink of an eye. And then potentially they can trade ahead of these orders. And uh, so as the IEX was created, everybody has the same access to the information. It spools around a thousand feet of fiber optic to make sure that uh, that's the speed bump so that nobody sees the order and can't just trade ahead of you. So imagine this, Andrew, you actually see a fair amount of trades going off in between the bid and the offer. Almost 50% of the trades go off in between rather than the seller always selling down to the bid or paying the offer. Um, so anyway, they're donating money for every trade of 1,000 shares or more that is executed on the system today. IEX is generously donating that money to uh, help find a cure for uh, ALS. They've already raised at mid-session today $51,000. That's a lot that's of 1,000 share trades, man. Yeah, so, heck so yeah. That's for oh. – that's, I'm, I'm impressed. They do millions of shares through their system already, and they've only been in exchange for a little over a month, I think. You, you got to love their... as an you, ATS before that. You Go ahead. got to love their drive, though. I mean, they've gone up against a lot of odds to get that exchange going. So they're like the underdog. I'm rooting for them. I like what they're doing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm chairing that event, in fact, tonight at the uh, Chelsea Pier. So if you want to come and help us find a cure for ALS, folks, Chelsea Pier, Pier 61 in New York City tonight from 5 until 9, we're going to have a, a great party, and it's a fundraiser to uh, basically uh, fund the doctors that are researching uh, cures for ALS. Is, uh, so it's going to be a great time. Kevin O'Leary going to be there? Yeah. Kevin O'Leary, in fact, uh, has generously, I reached out to him, Andrew, and he told me, John, I never do this. Um, but he said, for you, I'll do it. That's what a gent this guy is. And what he offered was he's going to give him, uh, he's going to give a uh, an evening out of his life to uh, have dinner with three people at a posh New York uh, seafood and steakhouse called Ocean Prime. And uh, right now there's a $3,000 bid Damn. for that. It'll run until um, Monday, until Monday next week. So if you want to make a pitch to Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank, uh, this would be your chance to do it. And the money you donate goes to charity. That's, you know, no administration that, costs. That'd be like uh, Shark Tank, but like without the tank and no sharks. <laughs> but, but, it, but it's like in a seafood restaurant, so it's like kind of like a Shark Tank. Never mind. I don't know where I'm going no, with that I one. I get you. I get where you're going <laughs> That's with actually it. not you bad. Can check, Three you can grand. check that out at uh, Bidding for Good, B-I-D-D-I-N-G for Good. Bidding put, for Good, you'll see that uh, dinner with Kevin there. Yeah, we put a link in our Twitter feeds, but yeah, that's great. Oh, great. 3000 yep. That's you know, when you think about it, if you, what do you think it would cost to get on the Shark Tank to begin with, let alone, never mind. Anyway, I you, guarantee you if do the math. Could buy their way on, they would. Um, so, uh, like I say, this is a very generous donation by Kevin and by the good folks at o Ocean Prime um, to donate this uh, dinner. Um, and it's for the winning bidder and two of their friends. So the four people, including Mr. O'Leary, would dine together uh, to raise money for ALS. All right. Speaking of dine together, I tortured myself and watched a uh, Spanish television program with Hillary Clinton on it last night. And she said that her favorite food is Mexican food. 
And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. So I know where, what all of a sudden you started looking at. I was like, oh, my Chipotle. God. Everybody's going to go buy a Chipotle now. <laughs> nice bounce, by the way. I don't know about everybody, but uh, it, they, they might. It's um, okay. She looks at you and says, you will not get sick. Actually, that's funny. Chipotle's like a... Um, like uh, uh never mind <laughs> we say it's okay so it's okay don't let move no a little e coli move along it's up four bucks remember we had that last week not bad yeah we were talking about it breaking down if it uh, had a problem and boy did it ever right mm -hmm. on the earnings well oh, you could have made a little profit today um somebody tweeted out a picture this is just the crazy stuff. Everybody's tweeting out vines today because vine kind of... It's going to die. Die on the vine. I don't yeah, know. they're closing it down. That's weird. That was good, though. A lot of people, you know, base their brands on that. But uh, somebody tweeted out a picture of um, a Tesla that got tagged in San Francisco. They wrote 216 on it. <laughs> you know what the 216 was? <laughs> Um, the stock price. <laughs> that's like the <laughs> that's like the new graffiti. Yeah, they wrote two sixteen on this guy's Tesla. What are you saying? That's... Well, yeah, that'd be pretty. Uh, I think anybody that tags a car is pretty much a jerk. But yeah. uh, um, I I do think sooner or later Elon Musk's little uh, uh, foray is not going to end well. Um, what, I think cars? he makes a lovely product. I just think it's tremendously overvalued. Hmm. Wow. I don't have a I don't have a dog in the hunt right now. I made some money on it uh, on the earnings last night, and I'm out of it. Oh, if you're going to so tag the no car dog. today, they would tag it with two hundred three. Yeah, not two sixteen. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be less spray paint as time moves on. <laughs> 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 well, and the VIX is hanging in here, Andrew. It's up uh, two and a half percent to fourteen sixty one. That's interesting too, given it, that the market's fairly flat. What I my takeaway on the VIX today, when I walked over to the floor, was it was dead. They were doing some Januarys, but it's kind of dead, according to Jamie. I mean, that's the only thing I took away from it. And um, oh, by the way, Apple just came out with a new MacBook Pro. I haven't looked at it. The Air as well or just the Pro? Uh, I think it's the Pro. Okay. I don't know. There's just so much stuff happening in my timeline right now. I'm just I'm going to look at it. I have a brand new Mac Pro. It's nice. But it's always nice to see what they're working on. We'll yeah, see what that their moves biggest problem is they can't fulfill the demand fast enough. Not with the MacBooks, but with the uh, iPhones. And that's a problem because, you know, you have a very popular phone, the 7 and the 7 Plus. Everybody wants the 7 Plus. And you've got your competitor that's on their backside and can't get up, Samsung, and you can't make enough phones. That's a problem. It's a good mm. problem, but it's a problem. A happy problem. All right, John. I'll let you go. Keep it short today. Well, you have a great one, Andrew. Remember, folks, you can subscribe to the podcast uh, and or the uh, YouTube, and we're going to have a, a, a surprise guest Monday. We'll tell you who it is tomorrow, uh, but it's a gotta work Wall on that. Street big wig on the podcast Monday. And it's not a wig he's wearing. Just he doesn't a hint. need a wig. No, he doesn't need a wig. got the thickest head of hair on Wall Street. All right. That's a hint. All right, man. All right. Have a great one, Andrew.